warning everyone. I'm just gonna send out one more notification. One more notification. Unscheduled live stream. Let's have breakfast together. Fun. Just send us out on Discord. Because I know Twitch notifications don't go out all the time. <laughs> I said uh, live streaming on Twitch within minutes, but we already started, so give people a chance to roll in. This is, uh, by the way, these are our tomato patch. We got, uh, we actually have a gigantic tomato plant over there one tomato plant hanging okay and we have uh, one two three four five uh six seven uh six tomato plants here okay i'm just gonna pop out the chat S sangoku hello hello good morning good morning x how are you doing should i show you guys what we got for breakfast <laughs> i got Guy, big bowl of yogurt. Okay, we're gonna put bananas in it. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna put some of these things in it. Okay, let me show you what I got here. This is, uh, by the way, this is sort of a typical breakfast that I have. This is uh, apples. And I do apples uh, a lot in the mornings. Apples and yogurt. Okay. So we got apples. We got some crunch crunch cereal. Okay. It's like nice. That's a lot of yummy. Yeah. We're gonna put some walnuts. Okay. Nice walnuts. We're gonna put some pumpkin seeds in there. Okay. And we're gonna put some elder god. We're gonna put some hemp hearts. Nice protein. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna focus. There it is. There's the hemp hearts. Nice. Beautiful hemp hearts. Literally watching your Monopoly video, it's like got Twitch notices are right. <laughs> the Monopoly videos are also actually we're gonna play a game. Uh, I'm gonna go visit my grandma in a couple of weeks, and we're gonna play a game with the family. We got some cocoa nips. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like, what time is it here? And you're wearing my favorite shirt. Nice, nice. In this one or the Monopoly one, it's like 7.20 a.m. I'm going to put some uh, cinnamon in there as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, this is my big bowl of yogurt. I'm not, we're not going to, this is like a bigger version, this clearer one, so you could see what's going in there. Hope you have a good weekend this weekend. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope so too. Let's dump in the apples. This is a whole apple. It's a smaller apple. Okay. Boop. Come on, get in there. Let's eat up all the apples. The tomato plants are amazing. Lots of tomato plants. I'm collect. I'm, I'm connected to electricity. I hooked myself in. We're not relying on the battery no more. <laughs> well, we might every now and then. This is my your favorite shirt. Nice. I got it as a present from my aunt. Let's throw in the bananas. We're having breakfast. This is my. And this is a, a medium-sized banana, right? So yogurt, apple, banana so far. 
I throw in the cereal last and I don't mix it up. I eat it slowly, mix it in, so you get a crunch crunch. No crab apple butter or sourdough toast to go with it. No. But I do have tea to go with it, right? I'm gonna throw, this is uh, the pumpkin seeds, right? Pumpkin seeds are crazy good for you. Crazy good. Crazy good. Okay. So I'm not going to throw in this much. This is too much. I'm going to throw in this much. Okay, take a look. We got the wasps going. Yeah, man. Look at this food. <laughs> no yogurt. Oh, you're lactose intolerant, I think. We're gonna throw in some cocoa nibs. Not this much cocoa nibs, but enough to give it a. Where's no fat in the cereal? <laughs> Everything, everything's beta with fat. <laughs> better with fat. <laughs> so a little bit of cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs are crazy good for you too, right? We're gonna put in. Uh, I'm gonna break in some. Uh, walnuts in here for a minute there I thought uh, you were having a beer with your breakfast uh, it has happened before but not today so these are half uh, walnuts right I'm just gonna break them in do I ever throw honey in there most definitely I'm gonna be throwing honey in there <laughs> this is honey yeah, we're going to take a couple of spoonfuls of honey and throw it in there, Zare. Zare, you must be Armenian. <laughs> uh, chia seeds, yeah, but chia seeds, uh, I don't add in the in the morning. Chia seeds, I prepare the night before. So if I'm having chia seed breakfast, I take chia seeds and uh, take yogurt. I add water to yogurt, so it's sort of... Uh, you know di not diluted but make it more watery and then i add the chia seeds in there and i add pumpkin seeds uh and walnuts and some other stuff um they have a hemp horse though but mainly uh pumpkin seeds and walnuts and i put it in the fridge and let the chia seeds soak in the juices right and then i have it in the morning so i soak chia seeds overnight and sometimes if i do that i do a lot of chia seeds and uh I have chia seed breakfast like three days in a row, and it's super good. Honey, honey. After five. Hey, Chicho. Starsky, how are you doing? Nice weather, nice weather. We finally started getting summer. Void, how are you doing? Yo, Moz, be on guard for trolls. There were two to three last time. Oh, okay. I should have actually changed the... Uh, the category we were in to uh, social eating or something but it's okay oh yeah and I got some cinnamon cinnamon I'm eating dairy free cheese yum with ham in gluten free bread <laughs> you're like the anti chicho <laughs> I'm gonna put some cinnamon in there cinnamon is crazy good for you too right so a little bit of cinnamon, right? <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> nice. That's good. That's good. I wake up around uh, five in the morning. Five, five thirty. I'm up. I'm doing my exercises by like six, six thirty, and I have breakfast after. I'm gonna put in the hemp seeds, hemp hearts. Okay, should we put the whole thing? Let's see. Hmm. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna put some honey in there.
honey and yogurt. Oh, so good. Nice, sorry. <laughs> this type of breakfast is fantastic, really. And then the spoon, we can just put in the tea and let it uh, dissolve in the tea. Yeah, we have uh, some wasps and stuff here, so they pop up. Dumping the cinnamon by accident. Oh, that would have been crazy. But we would have still eaten it. Elder God is here, sword sharpened. <laughs> Smith, how are you doing? The man, the legend. Everyone. I hope you guys are having a good breakfast or a good dinner or a good lunch, right? Sangoku, thank you. The world being happy makes the world happy, right? Look at this beautiful goodness. Look at that nice. Now what I do, I mix it in and then I add uh, our cereal on top. Spoon technique makes me want to eat maple syrup. <laughs> I don't know if I, if I, guys do that in other parts. Or, yeah, for sure, maple syrup. Um, if I don't put honey, sometimes I put maple syrup. Uh, actually, I switch between maple syrup and honey, and sometimes I don't put anything, right? Uh, but in Quebec, we lay hot maple syrup onto snow. Oh, we've had it here too. Then eat, eat. Um, eat out and it's so good yeah in the farmer's market and the uh, the f one farmer's market where our family had uh, we set up a booth there was a guy doing that they had a slab of ice and then uh, they would take maple syrup and put it on the slab of ice and then they had like a sharp uh, utensil I guess they would just go flip it flip it flip it and the maple syrup became hard and they would give it to the kids and well anybody would buy it and you would eat it it's so good yeah unfortunately ding bobber um yeah misery loves company uh, it's not seagulls actually you're hearing different birds right now sometimes you might hear a loud crow go cock Maple syrup, Canadian ketchup. <laughs> Where you get your shirt from? This was a gift. This was a gift from my aunt. So, thank you, aunt. Mm -hmm. So good. Keep it a little bit, right? I like my cereal crunchy, crunchy. So I don't let it soak in the... Just a little bit, right? Just enough to get your cereal going. Double double on the farmer's wrap. <laughs> check the calories, check the calories, brother. It's pretty high calories. This keeps me going all morning. Like, 
This is fantastic. The calories in this must be pretty high. This is the other view. The view you saw last time was that way. And this is our grapes coming in. Check it out. These are our grapes. We're gonna be harvesting some of these. Vegetarian only grass is crazy. Um, we have a patio, so I like natural sun. Sun is good. Void. As far as I'm concerned, outdoor is the best. That's my personal preference. Outdoor. Nothing like the sun. together this year yeah I agree Elder God movie stream I can't wait great idea by the way the movie stream it was Elder God's uh, suggestion we do it and a fantastic suggestion right no I haven't seen it we tried a couple of nights I tried but I haven't seen it yet Bing Bobber thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub thanks Zari <laughs> Oh, my pleasure, Ding Bummer. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jack. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Dr. P. Greetings, blessings. The cure? Um, Monday. Lester, how are you doing? I'm not sure to say goodbye. <laughs> good morning. Say good morning, but good evening. Since I'm watching from Germany. Oh, hello. Good evening to you. Good morning to me. Namaste. Simmer, how are you doing? Welcome to a stream. Nice. That's good, Zara. As far as I'm concerned, everybody should be growing. Anywhere that's legal, you should be growing. Just like tomatoes. And if you get a huge harvest, sure. Localize everything. Much love, Jack. Starsky, I agree with you. Um, everybody should have an online presence as far as I'm concerned. And that's the reason I, I went online, right? Like, 
online presence you have to have it i don't care what you're doing well no within reason right like well i can't think of anything that you don't need an online presence for to tell you the truth so uh, yeah if you can do it do it don't feed the trolls just feed chicho and yourselves No. Uh, simmer. We're eating yogurt with uh, cocoa nibs. That's not going to come out as sunny. Cocoa nibs. Uh, pumpkin seeds. Walnuts. Hemp parts. Honey, cinnamon, banana, apple, and syrup. And having tea. I like primary streaming fixing toilets. What's that? <laughs> You prefer an offline presence to co commit crime? Uh, yeah, maybe. Or a lot of crime is committed online, right? Look at Wall Street. They have a huge presence online. <laughs> they commit crimes all over the world, right? Dr. P, uh, if, let us know on Discord and I'll look into it. Question off topic for chat. Anybody remember the cartoon Red Wall? It was a medieval... No, I don't remember that. Uh, vitamins, I'm taking uh, vitamin C since COVID hit. I've been taking some vitamin C. If I feel down, I take vitamin C. I take vitamin D every now and then. Uh, my, my partner gives me zinc every now and then. But in general, I get my, I try to get my vitamins from food. Dole. Dolma, Dolma rules, Dolma rules, dude. Which is, I'm gonna upload the Dolma video today. Hey, Chicho, have you seen the Iranian film Under the Shadow of Netflix? It's a great horror film. Finally, a horror film. No, I haven't seen it. Dolma rules. If you haven't been around, today we we cooked. Uh, we did a cooking live stream. Dolma cooking live stream. I'm gonna upload the video today. I'm gonna let it loose on YouTube and bitch you today. Oh, I gotta load it up on uh, YouTube. I forgot to load it up on YouTube uh, later today. <laughs> Good evening, Singapore. Mm -hmm. B went on the microphone over here. I saw it, that's why I went. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another B. Was. Come on, buddy. Autistic. Hey Chicho, the strawberry liqueur turned out meish. It actually has uh, become a thick and droopy liquid. It doesn't taste bad, but not 8 out of 10 either. I think it would taste great on vanilla ice cream. So it's very syrupy. So the odds are you added too much sugar, diluted with vodka. 
right? Vanilla ice cream, but I want to improve the taste when I drink drink it flat. What uh, what you got? Any tips? It has been sitting since six of June. Did you add a lot of sugar, autistic? If you added a lot of sugar, it would make it syrupy, right? So dilute it with vodka. The other thing you can do is get a big glass of ice and just have lots of ice and pour the strawberry liqueur on top and let the ice melt uh, and just dilute the liqueur. It'll taste better, I think. Okay. <laughs> Smith, that's my mind is like age I also become thick and droopy. <laughs> Funny. Greetings Rohan from Sweden. How are you doing? Just ate the first batch of our own strawberries have a nice never try to make liqueur out of them super delicious we're gonna go to the farmers market today to get some strawberries so i can make it on uh, monday strawberry liqueur The gulls. Yeah, actually, there are sea seagulls we can hear now. Zara, you might have heard these earlier then. I didn't hear them. Those rats. Morata. Yeah, seagulls. Zara, you got a sharp ear. You heard those. And who was it that just said gulls? Dr. P, yeah. But earlier on, I didn't hear him at all. So autistic when making it i thought i didn't add enough sugar haha -ha. i experimented a bit a bit more with the ingredient ratio also searching for a new flavor to make mm. a lemon i try to find organic lemons in town and i'm having a hard time i can't find organic lemons uh, so we might not make lemon liqueur but make orange liqueur Peaches would be good. Cherries. It's cherry season right now. Cherries are delicious. And blueberries are really good. Zara, yeah. Live a block away from Pacific. So I'm used to hearing the gulls. Sounds like home to me. They're actually, um, seagulls are endangered species, I believe. They're part of the protected species. What you want? You want breakfast? We have wasps here, wasps and bees. Vanilla extract liqueur. I don't know, I've never made that would be good though. Would that even be possible? Maybe add some to one with fruit. I don't know. Are seagulls the white birds near uh, McDonald's <laughs> in French? It's a whole another name. Yeah, they're big ones. 
and they're like predators too i've seen a seagull take down a, a pigeon just grab it by the neck and go gar, 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 gar. yeah the sea is amazing Elder God. you live in the middle of uk elder god i think Lovecraft taught me anything is that one should be weary of the sea. The sea is unforgiving. Don't mess. The oceans can swallow you up. None. Or water. Large bodies of water can swallow you up. <laughs> the Burr's Horror remake with the gulls. Yes, yeah, so right in the center. 170 miles to sea. Ooh. Waiting potentially for the big one. I bought some floaties just in case. Dr. P grew up surfing. Favorite time was hurricane season. 18 foot faces. Rally, oh my god. Persic and Dutch, which roughly translate to wild peaches. Nice. I don't know if that's the correct translation. They're similar to normal peaches, but have a different form and taste a bit sweeter. Nice. Oh, wow. Dr. P, imagine laying down on the ground and bodies of water, white water coming at you the size of telephone poles. Oof. What do you think about the unmarked vehicles picking up uh, protesters in Oregon? Pretty trippy. Pretty trippy. But that's what the US military has been doing around the world for a long time, right? Renditioning a lot of people. So, and with the Patriot Act, they legalized renditioning American citizens and Obama legalized droning assassinating American citizens and now they're picking up American citizens off the streets this is something that has been going on sorry uh, since the Patriot Act came into effect with Bush and then Obama and then Trump uh, this was something that was going to happen uh, I'm not sure why people thought that it wasn't going to happen. Concrete is unforgiving. Cliffs are unforgiving. I guess the oceans can be as well. Hurts much worse when you fall on concrete. Yeah, but the oceans can swallow you up. The currents, uh, just one wrong breath with a wave coming in and water going into your lungs. Well, you surf, you know. Dragon's down. I was wasting time in another stream. <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> 
Oof. I'm breaking the eardrum. Damn. People don't know how evil this world really is. No, they don't. And once they pay attention, they see it. They. A lot of people cower away. They get scared. Any great books on math statistics? Uh, that book that I mentioned, uh, my calculus book, is fantastic. I can't remember the name. Uh, Howard uh, is really good. <laughs> Ouch, big mugger. Why wow, love is so powerful. Ten years since you saw the sea last time, Lester? Wow. Mathematical statistics by Miller and Miller is a goodie, really. Okay, Smith. Mathematical statistics. Nice. It's been a while since I read a math book. That's the kicker, right? Sorry, I just made lemon pancakes using a zest from lemons in the batter. Nice. I highly suggest it to everyone in here. Nice. Oh, the wasp is coming around for the food. Now is a cost effective time to travel with the tourist industry. <laughs> taking such a hit go see the ocean go see the ocean Bees are harmless. Uh, wasps, they're curious. They're looking for meat. They're looking for food. Once they realize you're not food, they'll move on. They just want to check it out, right? And wasps are good because they eat pests in your garden. So, yeah. Tata, good breakfast. Fantastic. Disney World has opened up, and Mickey wasn't wearing a face mask. <laughs> Plants look crazy happy here. Very happy. We have a bunch of wasps in the front yard. They always leave them, leave my cat uh, and me alone when we're hanging out. Yeah, they just come and check you out and 
If you barbecue, if you put meat on the side, man, wasps will love it. Um, it's a. Uh, the name of it is PP. I forget what it is. <laughs> It might be a hybrid. It might be a hybrid. I don't know to tell you the truth. We'll find out. We'll find out. It's a happy little plant. Not a happy little accident, but a happy little plant. Pipi, how are you doing? Pippi Louver. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to a live stream. We plants are happy plants. We plants are happy plants. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait for the tomatoes though. The smell of tomatoes leaves is amazing. It is feminized. It is feminized. It is female. If you're talking about the plant. Love Pip, love Pip, love Pip. Mm -hmm. We don't want the plant to be gender neutral. We want the plant to be female. <laughs> Rudy Rallis, Rudy Rallis, fun. I gotta go upload the. I can't believe I forgot to upload the cuckoo stream on YouTube. LGBTQ happy plants. LGBTQ. <laughs> Hilarious way. Transgender tomatoes. LGBTQ happy plants. Hilarious. <laughs> oh funny funny oh god it's asexual it's actually really interesting the whole steps germination pollination other things like that ah cool next it will be <laughs> what up chicho jake how are you doing what's up chat the flower is the color of the rainbow. You want the red hairs on the flowers and stuff. <coughs> Orange red, yes. Orange red, yeah. Yeah. You want the hairs. <coughs> Fantastic. Try Chom's Milky. Mm. Gang, that was a good breakfast. Thank you for uh, sharing it with me. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a nice Saturday. Nice weekend. Thank you. School was a long time ago for me. Oh my god, so fun. I think I'm gonna go load up the, uh, the Dolma live stream to youtube i can't believe i forgot to load it up it's gonna take at least it's like a four hour video a four and a half hour video it's gonna take two three hours to load up and then i gotta set it fix it so it'll be later on today wait was this a schedule stream that i forgot no coolio just an <coughs> unscheduled stream I, I can do more of those now because i have less students during the summer so i still can't set up a regular schedule uh, difficult with my partner having uh, shift work right so she has shift work so I I follow her lead thank you very much for the follow Gollum uh, streaming liqueur uh, I think it's Monday I had uh, cereal I had yogurt cacao cacao nibs it was good uh, here 
cacao nibs. You won't see it, it's too sunny. Cacao nibs. Uh, pumpkin seeds. Walnuts. Hemp hearts. Oops, hemp hearts. It's not gonna come out. Honey. Cinnamon. Banana, apple, and crunch crunch cereal. Unscheduled chicho. Improvised chicho. Any research on Shiva Brahma? Shiva Brahma, I know that name. <coughs> My pub is so busy today. People are everywhere, really. Already? That's, oh, I guess so. Yeah, you guys have serious food there too, so. Julio Chicho, maybe I'll get some uh, more fruit before your liquor stream this week and fill up my other two mason jars. Still got plenty of vodka left. Yeah, do it, man. The more you have, the more you're like, oh, I want to try this. I want to try this. Sleepy Waves, how are you doing? Sleepy Waves, I'm looking forward to the COVID stream. I want to uh, talk about uh, disruptive innovation coming up from the situation. Today being a... Uh, uh, man today being in manhattan is so weird nobody here besides homeless and essential workers really yeah new york must be trippy you living in the u.s must be tripping right now trippy right now really we feel the energy in canada uh, but it's different here ever put pumpkin seeds in the oven and uh, throw salt on yeah for sure avoid I actually we do it in a cast uh, iron just low heat salt is good and uh, like fresh pumpkin seeds like when we eat pumpkin uh, just take out the seeds and make them fresh I saw a VR startup kicking up a program that simulates working uh, in what working in an office weird some people's reality must be totally being shattered. It's Super Saturday, and yes, most patrons have food. Super Saturday, I don't know what that means. Isn't every Saturday Super Saturday? Trip, trippy in Mormon blue states. Ah, trippy everywhere, I think. In these states right now, just the energy coming out of there is... We feel it in Canada, and most Canadians are very much like, what the hell is going on? Oh, you're near Soho. Coolio Chicho, did you hear that? What's going on in Portland right now? Yeah. Yeah, indeed. I think Zari mentioned it, or someone else mentioned it. You can save it for the current events live stream, though, because we'll probably have more info by then. Yeah. Slick Mick, how are you doing? I have a book that I coincidentally read today. It was uh, called Walt Whitman's Guide to Many Health, Man Manly Health. Uh, it details all about how to live better. And uh, he's such a great poet that I'll all uh, phrase so eloquently. Would highly recommend it. I've, I know that name, Walt Whitman, but I can't place him. Yeah, everything's still boarded up for the looting. Wow, crazy dragons. Trump Jr. in 24. <laughs> yeah, I want out before it gets worse. It's gonna get worse. It will, Dr. P. So it was not looted, although it, I wish it was. <laughs> Sleepy Wave says. It's only the beginning, it's only the beginning. Soho was looted for four days straight last month. I was watching the whole time. Really, dragons? NWA, New World Order. I'm sick of the world co word COVID. All I hear are lies everywhere. But I will rant on the stream. Yeah. I agree with you, Elder God. Everybody's lying. Because we talked about this. No one really knows what the hell's going on. But we'll save it for the current events and COVID. Walt was a poet. Thank you, Coolio. Thank you, Coolio. 
Whitman is a classic American author. He wrote uh, Leaves of, of Grass, okay? Oh, we're getting trolls coming in. An author. Gang, should we call the stream? Let's call the stream. The trolls never sleep around these parts. Yeah, and it's summertime. The kids are out, right? A lot of lot of the weak trolls are just children being indoctrinated within our current educational system. So they don't have half a brain in between them, unfortunately. Right? Life is gonna gonna be a rude awakening for them when they get out of high school. That's for sure. I wish them well. I wish them well. Some of those trolls I've seen, they uh, or people who think they own everything, right? Zero respect. You hang around bars long enough, you see certain people come in that uh, either fla flaunting their shit when they shouldn't be, or uh, talking too large with people they shouldn't be, and uh, it's life changing for them, unfortunately. Hey, Amen, Chicho. They took our jobs. Needs to calm down, please. Saying some silly stuff. Yeah. Peace, love. Okay, gang. Let's call the stream. Good morning, Spider Man. How are you doing? So, tomorrow. Tomorrow, comic books. And I know initially we started with five, six, and we read one, and we said we weren't going to add any more until we went through the five but elder god pointed out the other five were pretty gloomy so i'm going to add a more lighter comic until it evens out the field where we have at least two light-hearted comics and you know evens it out okay so tomorrow we do comic book reading game i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day uh again thank you very much for joining me for breakfast i hope you had a good breakfast lunch dinner snack drink and i hope you have a fantastic fantastic saturday mods thank you very much for taking care of business uh for those that follow thank you very much for following and subbing okay very much appreciate it see you guys tomorrow bye everyone